Uh, X-rays negative, sprained right ankle, I believe. Um, and we'll see how he responds overnight. Sprain ankle also did not get x-rayed, um, less, uh, less of a concern. Then what explanation did you get on Brad and why it wasn't Two different acts for two different technicals. You know, uh, one hit, you know, using uh, whatever, using the ball to hit uh, Jalen in the face or in the head. And then after that action, um, you know, the elbow or push, whatever that was, was a second tech. But I mean, he got fouled, they fouled the hell out of him going to the basket. I mean, that's no excuse for Brad to do that, but, you know, if you call the first file, all that stuff doesn't happen. Uh, Nurk's got a neck sprain, and um, uh, no, it did get evaluated for concussion, um, but just the neck sprain. Coach, when you look at the way that you guys started the last Rockets game versus this one, what stood out to you in terms of defense? Yeah, it's, it's, a, good, well, it's a good lesson, first of all, right? Um, these little baseball series within the 82 game season, um, you beat a team one one game, they're they're going to have the psychological advantage and come back hungrier many times. You see that all the time in the in the playoffs, whether it's game one to game two or game six to game seven, you know. And uh, as a group, we all have a lot of collective uh, playoff experience, but not together, you know. So we can use this this game as a lesson of uh, when we win. You know, our first game one of a, of a playoff series, this is the type of response that the other team's going to have. They're going to be more edgy defensively. They're going to make shots. They're going to be, uh, be a hungry team. And, uh, and we got to respond and answer back better than we did tonight. How would you evaluate the 3-2 zone that you guys went to there? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very good for us. Um, you know, it's something that we had that week off uh, last week or, the, you know, three days, two days of practice, one day, day off. Uh, we worked a lot on that, you know, and what the rotations look like. Still had a few breakdowns, controllable breakdowns, um, but I thought it was really good for us. Anything else, bro? How did you like the bad young minutes when you guys went small? I know you were dealing with Nurk being out. And yeah, we were just deep in our bench at that point, and um, you know, Bowl wasn't having a great game early. We just, you know, we knew we could come back to Bowl, but let's let's see Thad for a few minutes, and that group uh, caught fire, went on a little bit of a run, so we rolled with it. We kept losing starters. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, we fought. We battled back. Um, we junked the game up like teams do to us sometimes, but it wasn't enough. Is there ever an emphasis with your team? You talk to your players about how much they always concentrate on the referees during the game and lose focus. Is that kind of? Sure. You know, when it's, when it's uh, overdone, uh, absolutely. You know, we got to stay gotta really focused on the job. Yeah. I think the, uh, the, the the matchup, you know, like I alluded to before, you know, they had a competitive response to us beating them two days ago, and we didn't respond well enough. Do you have any, any response to LeBron going over 40,000 Yeah, I'm happy for LeBron. It's, I mean, it's incredible what he's doing. At, at this age, the totality of his career, you know, to, to eclipse Kareem a few years back and, um, you know, now to reach that mark, it's uh, it's pretty unbelievable. I'm happy for him. Okay.